Hello everyone. Here we will be discussing how you can set up your catalog using CSV for your store. To do this, just click on products, click on import and export. You will be redirected to the import catalog. Here we can click on combined for the simpler process. You can download the sample CSV. In the example CSV, you will be having categories, product, add-ons, inventory in a one single CSV for your store. To begin with, we have category ID, product IDs. We do not have to enter the category ID and product ID for the first time when we are uploading our CSVs because these will be automatically generated by the system. To show you how to do that, I'll be giving an example of two products. So for them, let's say we have two categories. One is vegetables and the other is oil. So I will be giving you an example of vegetables with one product and oil having two products. So let's say we have oil in another category. I'll delete this row. So for category description, since it is not a steric marked, it is not mandatory. The fields that are marked with star, that those are mandatory fields. So next we have category image URL. To create image URL, you can use any third party for public URLs. Next we have product ID. No, we do not have to enter the product ID. Next, we have product name, which is compulsory. So let's say for vegetables, we have potato. Oil, let's say one, we have sunflower oil. Another, we have coconut oil. You can add the prices accordingly for the each product. Let's say this is 20, sunflower, it's 100, it's 120. Next, we have add-ons. So, for example, let's say in my catalog, I do have um, add-ons for one of my categories and I do not have add-ons for another category. So, what I'll be doing is I'll deleting the add-on option for my another category for which I do not have add-ons. Next, we have is veg means the product is vegetarian or not non-vegetarian. Next, we have available quantity. Like if you are keeping stock, the inventory option, then you can just put on one in the section. Zero means you are not keeping check on the inventory. One means yes, you are keeping a check on inventory. So if you are keeping a check on inventory, the available quantity in the stock, let's say it's 25. So this is how you can do it. Next, we have category name in English, category description in English, product name in English. So this is just to write the name in English. If you have another language, you can use another language. Automatically, those all languages will be generated in the CSV depending on the language you are choosing on your dashboard. So we are done with the CSV. Let's save the CSV in CSV format. Let's say this is store. Let's save it. Let's go back to the store. Let's browse. Test ABC. Um, I'm writing the email address to which I want to send the report. So since we have uploaded it, I'll check it in the products. Yay, we have our catalog setup. Since I added the vegetables and oil as my categories, 
you can see the products in vegetables i have added the add on so we have add on added for oil we did not set any add on so it is not showing any add on to us everything is up and running as we decided in the csv okay guys thank you